Welcome to the Arlington Craft Special. In this video, we'll be showing you at home how to create some spooky themed crafts. So grab your hot glue gun and follow along. Oh, hi Cheryl. I see you're back in the studio with your great craft ideas. What are you up to? Just getting ready for our Halloween craft program. Fantastic. <laughs> if you can show me what kind of sculpture you're making. Yes, let's begin. We're making a gnome pumpkin. Okay. And you're going to need any size pumpkin, okay. a large piece of felt. Oh, is that what they call it? For the hat. Three. Whoop, wrong. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> a large piece of felt for the hat. A square piece of fake fur for the beard. And you're going to need a styrofoam ball. And I covered mine with an old nylon sock. And you're also going to need either a stapler or a glue gun. So, are you ready to begin? Yes. First of all, you have, have to measure the circumference of oh your... Oh, boy. <laughs> say that word two times. <laughs> circumference of your pumpkin to make the hat. So, that's all. Just measure your circumference. I've already <laughs> actually made the hat, so we don't really have to do that. But Oh, okay, just good. For, the, for our viewers. <laughs> We're going to be measuring the circumference of the pumpkin so we'll know what size mass. the hat will be. And then you add about a half an inch of mm -hmm. seam allowance to your measurement. Like okay, then you cut out the felt for your hat. We're going to cut out the beard. Oh, okay. <laughs> One part. So take your, your, your fur and make sure it goes around and it's in the right direction and yours is <laughs> and mine is. So this we're going to hot glue onto the pumpkin. But before we do that, I think we should cut the fur because it's a little bit long. Yeah, it's a little it's long. It's up to you if you want to make it like a Santa Claus beard, you can. Okay. Oh, that's good. But, uh, I was thinking that. I'm going to cut mine on the bottom a little bit. And we're just going to cut, cut, cut. Make it a little shorter. Make mine about that. Take your hot glue gun and try to get so much glue as you can on that back of the fur. <laughs> it's very messy. <laughs> Everybody knows with hot it is glue, hot. we're putting as much as we can on it. Uh, <laughs> if you need to, you can go to your Elma's glue if you're having a hard time. And another thing you can try is doing it right on the pumpkin, if you know oh, exactly where you want it to go. Uh, that seems to work a little better. And I've never done this before, so <laughs> I'm hoping it'll stick. Karen's is sticking really nicely. <laughs> okay. Got my glove a little stuck to it, but okay. it's, it's all good. Then you're going to take your nose. There's your nose. Put some glue on that, and hopefully it's going to stick to your fur. Put as much as you can so that nose does not fall off. That would be awful. The kids would be very scared if they saw the nose falling off the pumpkin, the gnome. I think I'm running out of hot glue. It's not coming out too well. Okay. But You can go to your Elmer's glue and give that a try. Yeah. It's always good to have something on standby. <laughs> yep. Okay. Once you have your glue on, <laughs> you can put it right on the fur. <laughs> we need another little guy on here. Push it. No one said crafting was easy. Yep. <laughs> yeah, give that Thank a try. You. Well, at least we haven't burned ourselves, that's, you know. <laughs> <laughs> this fur can be very messy. I got this at Amazon. You can buy it in little squares. It's sticking pretty good, but my fur is falling off. <laughs> uh, so, okay, while Karen is putting her nose on her pumpkin, <laughs> we're going to take our triangle, okay, we're going to fold it, and then we usually would hot glue it, but today we're going to use the stapler. <laughs> <laughs> Getting you all your frustrations <laughs> out with crafting. I am. <laughs> Uh-oh. I think I broke the stapler. <laughs> okay. And then, once we get that all stapled, 
Hopefully the hat will fit. I don't know if I did it right. Okay. Don't want to staple my finger. That will not be fun. That would really be I spooky. Okay, and then we're going to put our hat on our pumpkin. Whoop, on our gnome. I think I missed a step, but that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> my oh. hat's a little big for him. This is great. I won't leave gnome without it. We'll be back after this. Abby. Abby who? Abby Halloween! Welcome back. Um, next up we have a pom-pom bat craft. I'm gonna kind of wing it a little. You're gonna need a piece of cardboard. Um, the size of the cardboard that you cut, that determines the size of the pom-pom. So definitely think about what size pom-pom you want. Um, I've already pre-cut these for us. This is a little bit flimsy. You might want to do a firmer cardboard like Karen has here. Let's start with our yarn. I've chosen black yarn because we're doing bats, but you can get creative and use some, you know, maybe you have like a green bat. Um, so we're going to take the yarn and we're going to wrap it around the cardboard. Okay. So you want to keep a little bit of space open on okay. the side here. And the amount of yarn that you wrap determines how like dense and fluffy the bat is. So we're just gonna keep racket, wrapping and wrapping. Yep. And we're just gonna wrap. Oh dear. Some of my beard's we got, going we into got some, some gnome fluff here. <laughs> Cheryl's taking a break back there, so um, she might come back for another segment, but just taking a, taking a rest, you know. <laughs> So yeah, keep wrapping. <laughs> How are you doing over there? Yep, keep wrapping. Am I doing good? We're getting fluffy okay. bats here, fluffy white bats. <laughs> so I haven't been counting, but I feel like maybe 50, 60 times. <laughs> Just keep wrapping. <laughs> wrap, wrap, wrap. For, for all you OCDers out there, a it's a great day. little thing to do if you want to just start counting. Relaxing, maybe. <laughs> meditative. This could be even a spider. <laughs> And then just make sure you have, all right, so Karen got a little, <laughs> little excited. So important part of the directions that we need to see the hole through here. Oh, okay. So you okay. see how mine, you can see the hole through the cardboard there. Okay. So that's an important part of how you make, you know, if you're really fancy, you can go to the store and get a pom-pom maker. Ooh. They have little, it's basically the same thing that this cardboard is doing, but it's just plastic. <laughs> So I just moved her yarn over a little bit so we have that hole free. So we're gonna take this extra piece of yarn and we're gonna thread it through this hole and tie, it'll tie this, this bundle of yarn together. So I'm gonna thread this through and then we're gonna on the other, do it tight, I'm gonna do two. And we might even do another one. Oh, and this tail hanging off, I'm just gonna cut How's that? All right, so let's finish, let's finish yours and cut the, the string off from the. So now we each have our bundle of yarn. We're gonna take a deep breath and slide <laughs> it off the ah, cardboard. All right. All right, so I think potential. we could have tied it a little bit tighter, but that's okay, we'll go with it. And we're gonna cut these loops. That, cut cut it all the way of, through? Yep. And hopefully you have bread or scissors. Kind of looks like dreads. There we go. It's coming together. Yeah, so I think we could have tied it a little bit tighter, but that's okay. <laughs> no, we're not professional pom-pom makers here. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, any of those loops, we're cutting them. And then we kind of fluff our... And actually, if there's a long one, you can actually use that for hanging it. Oh, didn't think of that. So these are pretty thin pom-poms, we probably could have added more yarn to make them fluffier and tied it tighter. That would be my suggestion to you at home. More yarn and tie that knot pretty tight. If you have more yarn, you can kind of shape it a little bit if you want to get like Edward Scissorhands. <laughs> you know, you can kind of shorten it up a little bit. All right, now comes um, our, our wings. So Ooh. for the wings, I have this black foam. So I'm going to lay my bat 
on the phone. And we're gonna take these markers and kind of draw wings. If you imagine this is the body of the bat, the wings kind of look like that. And you don't, if you don't have this fancy foam, you know, you can use, get cardboard, paint it black, or not, it could be a, a brown. Feel to it. Okay, go to your mm -hmm. local craft store, go to, if you live in Arlington, go to Playtime. Yeah, go ahead. That's a great, great spot for all your crafting supplies. Again, not sponsored. And you really don't need a lot of stuff. No, you it's really don't. It's just a few things. Yeah. How are you? Oh yeah, there's one. <laughs> Look at that, looking good. Next up is the scary hot glue part. Oh, and then eyes. So this is also extra, Ooh. you don't have to do this, but so you can pick your sizes. I guess, you know, if you're doing a spider, you might need eight to be accurate, but I think bats only have two eyes. I think so. <laughs> I think so. And then you might be wondering, you know, what are you gonna do with your bat? I don't know, it might decorate Christmas you know, tree. your hallway, your Christmas tree, maybe you have a, uh, a Halloween tree. I think that's where mine is gonna live, on my Halloween tree here at the studio. Uh, maybe over your bed, like a little dream catcher, catch those nightmares. Be careful when it's hot. We're gonna make a little dab. If you feel safer wearing gloves, and you can wear gloves too. Or it can be dangerous like we are. <laughs> All right, there's one eye. Spook factor. Ooh, am I gonna <laughs> burn myself? <laughs> All right, we're almost done with this craft. I hope everyone at home is having a great time following along. Um, definitely let us know what, what you made at home. Did you make a bat? Was it a white bat or a green bat? I don't know, maybe it was a glitter bat. Oh. If you want to get fun too, you can put on some Halloween music. Uh, we're, we're listening to some really good music right now. Yes. Yeah. So our last step, once you get those eyeballs glued on, uh oh, we're losing, we're losing some of the hair. We're gonna use the hot glue gun again. But, yeah, keep just... And we're gonna glue our wings inside of her bat. All right, and that's, that's the last step. That is my little bat. He's so cute. And then if you, I didn't really go over this, but yeah, if you have a, a long one at the top that you've left, you can kind of, oh, he's flying. <laughs> <laughs> he's like the, he's like the wing, he's one wing bat. He's <laughs> It's okay, his mama still loves him. <laughs> All right, well, as Karen finishes up, I know that Joanne is coming out next to do some creative, fun faces on a, maybe a pumpkin or two, maybe. Spoiler alert. Can you get your Picasso on? Welcome back, everybody. For our next segment, we will be following along with Joanne doing pumpkins. Hello. I like to create funny faces um, using markers and my imagination. So let's get started. Okay. Start off first with like a light color marker. This one is silver. And um, you just kind of think of a funny face. And what I did often, I did, I made faces in the mirror or <laughs> I looked at things online, the funny faces. And this, this face is um, kind of inspired by um, a movie, one of my favorite movies from Halloween, um, Nightmare Before Christmas. This so, is Halloween. So, and I, and I have other faces that I, I drew. And this one, this, this pumpkin is kind of startled. He's kind of <laughs> shocked because he broke out with some kind Goosebumps. of skin condition, I, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, so I'm going to begin. So we, uh, for the eyes, um, maybe a circle or like with this one, it's more like a, like a leaf shape. Yeah. And the nose is just little tiny beans, as you were. Mm -hmm. And um, the mouth is just, you know, some stitches. Right. We're going to start with the silver for the outline of the eyebrows. Have you decorated already for Halloween, Karen? No, I bought, I bought like carving a carving kit, but I haven't got out. I haven't bought the pumpkin yet. Oh well, speaking of <laughs> carving versus drawing, drawing I think is better. You can yeah. use your imagination more, and because you're not carving the pumpkin, it will last longer. And you don't have to worry about a mess. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes, yes. 
I just got the outline and I want to go over the silver with the black. outline with the black. You figure it out, you figure it out. And then you get little frown lines, frown lines, you know, the kind of frown lines that are good on pumpkins, but not good on your face because you don't want to look like <laughs> you're frowning. So essentially like you're using the, the silver as like a, a way to put it in lightly and then darker it in with the black? Yes, because if you make a mistake with the silver, it doesn't show. And that way you'll have a, a guide to follow when you actually put, you know, put the black in. That's a good idea. So what do you have planned to, as a costume for Halloween? Do you, do you know? I, I kind of thought about being like the girl from Casper. Oh. She wears like the long white dress, but I'd have to, I'd have to f try to find the dress. I'm go thrift shopping and try to find something. Mm-hmm. Thrifting is always fun. Do you know what you're gonna be for Halloween? Do you dress I'm up? I'm just gonna be a middle-aged woman. <laughs> Yeah, a middle-aged woman with um, with no life. It's kind of it's kind of horrifying. <laughs> <laughs> Do you decorate a little bit? Like, no, you know? I, I I use my decorating um, ideas uh, for here in at ACMI. Oh. But there's so many fun things you can do now with Halloween going into Christmas. You know, you, you can have actual Halloween lights that look a lot like Christmas lights and. That whole idea of the nightmare before Christmas becoming, mm -hmm. like Halloween's becoming like the precursor to the holidays now. And before before it was um, Thanksgiving, now it's Halloween. Yeah, yeah, um, I haven't seen the movie in a, in a while. I didn't realize that Christmas was so, was so tied into it. But Halloween's like Christmas, you give away, you give, you give gifts, you know, trick or treat. Candy. So I heard you talking earlier about um, you, you've been to Salem or you like to go to Salem. Yeah, and I like to check out like all the, all the witch shops and go down in the dungeon and, and learn about the history of like the witch, witch stuff. The witch trial? Yeah, it's kind of scary. There was an actual, there's an actual dungeon? It's spooky because like all like the statues, like if you look at them long enough, it looks like they're moving. Uh, oh, oh, wow, well, that's, <laughs> that's a little unnerving. I'm like, ah, now that you say that, I'm like, ah, maybe, maybe I won't go to Salem. Maybe I'll just and if you home. And if you walk past, like, in Salem, somewhere in Salem, they have, like, all these little cemeteries. Mm -hmm. And there's one in particular I go by that's always gives me the, the creeps. <laughs> How's your marker holding up? The silver one's kind of going on me, but the black still got some... Some life. No one sucked the life out of it just yet. <laughs> oh, I like yours. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> it's cute. got some. It's got some character. Yeah. I'll give it that. This is the basic idea for our funny faces on a pumpkin. You can sit down, use your imagination, use different color markers, and just let your imagination run, run wild. Draw a funny face, a scary face. And this one, he looks sad. <laughs> this one's a little concerned because he can't sit upright, so he has a little funny face. Mm -hmm. So you bring your pumpkin to life with your imagination. Nice. I like how you made the heart as a nose. Yeah. Yeah. How'd yours come out? Um, He's cute. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you for having me on your show. Thank you. That's a wrap, everybody.